Hi, my name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about user settings in the Leap application. Once you log in, you'll go over here on the left-hand side to Users, and it'll list all of your current users on your account. If you'd like to add a new user, on the top right, you can click New. You could fill out their name, first name, last name, and followed by their email address. You can select the username here. We typically will say to use the email address as the username can be taken. That way it will make it so there's no errors. Next will be your password. And then you would confirm your password in the next field. Next will be a phone number. And if you have a license number for the specific salesman, you can enter that here. If not, you can leave it blank. You can also add in an additional estimate amount, which can be added into the price formulas if they get a specific commission on certain products. You can also give them a unique identifier. You can also select how long the estimates that they create are saved for. You can do it up to Five, one, two, three, four, five, six days, one week, two week, three week, one month, six months, a year, or forever. You can also toggle on if they're going to have the ability to submit a credit application. And then we would make them active if you're making a new user. If you're ever deactivating a user, you would have turned this off. And if you want them to be able to search other users' estimates outside of their own, you can toggle on the switch. Next would be the allowed offices. So if you have more than one office, you can select as many as you need. The assigned office would be the office that they would see once they sign in. So if you have them in multiple offices and you want them to start logging in through the main office, you can have that happen. Next would be the permissions group. So you would click this and you can drop down. By default in your account, there's usually the sales rep or the super user. If you have other ones as well, they'll be listed. Next would be your credentials, which would be where you would add in multiple different systems. You can add in their market sharp credentials, Salesforce credentials, lead perfection, Eagle View, or Job Nimbus by clicking these and filling out the appropriate fields. Edit placeholders would be if there are any placeholders that you would like to pull through by default. These can pull through to the contract for the, any individual salesman. Once all of your settings are done, you can click Save, and they'll be listed on this main account. Now, if you ever need additional licenses, you will need to speak with your account manager. You can reach out to them, and they'll be happy to assist you.